three, two, one. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of the Two Halves podcast for the Fantasy League. Uh, an interesting game week for all of us. Um, a very even game week, I'd say. I'm going to be sharing my... Screen. Even means boring. Hmm? Even means boring, you're right. Even means um, boring. No one overtook just... anyone. <laughs> no one. Well, well actually... Well, the Khan brothers are right there. <laughs> The Khan brothers both overtake. Oh no, wait, one overtook me. Both of them overtook you. No, no, no. Ouch. One was Rohan was already on top of me. That's what she said. And then Rohan held on to me. Wow. I can't believe the two half podcast just had their first that's what she said joke. Yeah. You know what well, I'm what I'm saying that is took sense. months. <laughs> So it was Rohan number four, uh, number three, Omar number four, and then Talha number five. And Talha just jumped from fifth to third, which has caused Rohan and Omar to turn back with their tail between their legs and just focus on next game week. Omar, Omar, you're like Tottenham right now, you know, starting off with <laughs> title challengers, then like top four. Now you're just happy to take a Europa League spot. You remember the 15-16 season when they even had that seat belt on their kit? Yeah. <laughs> because they knew their season's about to crash. <laughs> uh, well, you might need that kit from now on. I do. Um, because <laughs> j- just just a little like 50 points behind, you know, Ahmed Amin. And uh, you might not even be the best to be in the table by the end of the season. All right. We're aiming for a top for the season, I think, and the next season is the title charge. There's two, bi- two big horses and a little horse. A nice <laughs> little horse that still needs grass and water, and the next season, you know, it's going to push. Calm down, Jose. <laughs> uh, let's look at my... Should we go through our teams first, or just go straight into next game week? <clears throat> well, what do you guys say? Ramiro? I, I think... Ramiro had 63, Abdurrahman had 54, I had 58, and we had like most team, most of us had like the same players, I think, so. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, like, I thought Bamford was going to do well. We all thought Bamford Leeds players were going to do well because they were playing um, Southampton, were they? They were playing... No, they weren't. They were Sheffield. playing Sheffield. Sheffield. They were, sorry, they were playing Sheffield, and they conceded against Sheffield. Against Who? Sheffield. Who concedes against Sheffield? Even Sheffield B team doesn't concede against Sheffield. It's needs open defense, I guess. <laughs> Is Phillips back yet? Um, Calvin Phillips. Calvin, Calvin, Calvin. Is he back? I have no idea. How do I check? Let's... You go to Leeds. I uh, think just, just click on leads. Well, it doesn't show you the starting 11, I think, does it? Oh, yeah. Uh, leads. Uh, if you just go to fixtures, maybe maybe leads. Yeah, okay, that way, this way it works too. Leads. Uh, Phillips, there he is. He looks 4.9. healthy. He looks happy. <laughs> looks he healthy. has started he played, the last four games. And he played four games. And He's look at that. He's back. Very interesting. Disappointment would be to say the least. Well, yeah, uh, Spurs did well. Tottenham did very, very well. I'm shocked. I captain Kane with no. Like, By a draw. Wait, why are we saying they did well? <laughs> they drew. <laughs> I don't know. I just saw Kane's 14 points. Then I re- remember they oh. dropped points against Newcastle. Remember, they I so much more points yeah. than I. Yeah, I thought that he did well as well. <laughs> The Willock and Jolinton, um, you know, combo. Was it the Willock goal that was the scramble, or was it the Jolinton? That uh, bo- was some... both of them. But like both Willock's, of... Willock's goal was the like winner in the 88th yeah. minute, 87th minute. That was just equalizer. <laughs> the two halves are not in their right state of mind today. Just forgive us, everybody. <laughs> they might be a little bit upset. I wonder why. <laughs> um, who else? Oh, Liverpool, 3-0 against Arsenal. we got to talk about that, surely. 
I told I feel, you guys get Salah. Like all these, I feel like all these memories have been wiped for some reason. I just don't know why. To be honest, I think it was the, the Champions, fact League. That Champions League. Yeah. Yeah. That overshadows everything. That's true. Um, and it had been like, a while. Feels like Premier League was two weeks ago. We can talk about, you know, that Trent great performance against Arsenal, but is it really worth anything after looking at that performance in the Champions I mean, it's League? I mean, it's just an assist. It's just an Ooh, assist. And three and bonus, points. Three, and bonus, three bonus points. points. Damn. No, that is Jota, something. man. Off the bench, powering the Liverpool bench, through. Off the bench, two goals. Mm. That's pretty impressive. I think yeah, Jota man. is like hot property right now. Tip from Which the two halves I by Jota. Song. As you Go can get see right yourself here, Sajata. Diogo, what a player. Yeah. Just like him. In, Just in, like him. Another 6 million rated player. Jesse. Lingard and Jota are a must. <laughs> in your, like, for success in the last few game weeks, you need these two. Especially mm. looking at the fixtures that Liverpool have. I want to stack my team with Liverpool players. Okay, so these are the fixtures for the next game week. So if you click on like a Liverpool's fixtures, right? If you click on Jota's fixtures, it's all green, or like all almost all green. There's they just, only one. They just have United, and which like in fact, you know, given on form, you know, if Liv I I don't know, but if Liverpool get knocked out, they might out of the Champions League. They'll have more rest. They'll focus more on the Premier League. You know, our, uh, if United uh, go on through in the Europa League, right, they'll still have those fixtures to play. United will be more fatigued. You never know what might happen in the three, four weeks. And if Liverpool pick up form, that might turn into a grey one too. But even look, Leeds is the grey one. That's a very winnable fixture. Which is like also the... very winnable, right? So just looking at those fixtures... I want to stack my team with Liverpool players. Now, just, just going on from Liverpool, uh, we were talking about Leeds. Look at those next three fixtures right in there. And even uh -oh. after that, actually, the fifth one, Tottenham as well there. Even Brighton. The way Brighton, Brighton. play football, it's uh, it's not a winnable X game. XG Merchants. XG Merchants, for sure. I think they're like supposed to be top four in XG, uh, like, table. Graham Potter with the uh, Champions League charge next season. You heard it here first in <laughs> two halves podcast. <laughs> we, we've had the little horse there, like the little bird. <laughs> what are they called? The seagulls, I think. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know, but they got a bird for their like logo. I mean, Do you guys them. feel bad about selling Salah now? Uh, Absolutely no, not. No, definitely not. Why? I sold him like eight game weeks ago or something. Why would I, I feel sold, bad? <laughs> I sold Salah and got Jota. I saved six million and I'm getting more gold. More I'm points. Not complaining at all. Yeah. Okay, but Salah is unrotatable. Jota is. And Jota. I don't, I don't think so. No, no, Jota. Goals. Jota was like only rotatable because he was injured. Hmm. Now that he's fit, I don't know if Klopp will drop him. He might just drop him this week or give him a rest this week because of Champions, Champions League, League fixture. Yeah. But other than that, you know, I don't I don't think he would be dropped. And given that he's half the price of uh Salah, he might <laughs> he's uh, definitely worth it. I do want to talk about Liverpool with that fixture against the Villa. I don't know if you guys remember, but the reverse 7-2. <laughs> Wow. The Jack Grealish masterclass. It was the Ollie Watkins masterclass. I think it was a masterclass for like 11 out of 11 players for Aston Villa. <laughs> we could say Matty Cash masterclass. <laughs> Matty Cash. <laughs> oh, for sure. Man, man, Matty Cash. <sighs> man, I sold Watkins think? and he got seven points. He that week. Yeah. I, I benched him and he got seven points. Wait, that sounds worse. I saw. Mm -hmm. I benched him, and I got he got seven points. You know how much that hurt. Of, of, well, and you didn't use your bench boost yet, right? No, I haven't, and I don't know when oh. to. Okay, it's, it's a bad bench. All right, wait. Let let let's look at the. 
upcoming fixtures over the next so that there, it's not a double game week next there's week. bound to be a the double game week soon right like 33 34 around that time i think there's bound to be one the rescheduled mm -hmm. fixtures aren't out yet i'm waiting for them and i think i'm gonna use uh my uh triple captain and ben uh, bench boost in around those times mm -hmm. So, what do you plan on using when there is that double game week? Because you can only use one chip. I at will. A time. I will definitely use triple captain in double game week, and there's bound to be a game week where all the big teams play sp small teams. I think it's game week thirty three, um, or something like that. You know, the like differential is pretty high, mm -hmm. so I feel like that time would be a good time to use bench boost. Mm. Like Game Week uh, 32 doesn't look bad too, you know. Abdurman, as 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 someone who's known you for his whole life, as your little brother, your friend, not, who wants nothing but the best for you, I would highly suggest using that triple captain on a Manchester City player. I think that would be your safest option, given that they're yeah. top of the league. <laughs> and <laughs> and, and probably in the Champions League semi-final. <laughs> All right, so let's go picking. Let's go picking our teams for next week. We'll talk about the double game weeks when they're here. For now, let's go for. By the way, Omar, how will how will me, like, using my triple captain on a Manchester City player? God forbid! They, God forbid they only play five minutes. Will affect you. Uh -huh. How will how will it stop the Hans? <laughs> I'm not here. I'm not in it for me. Like the Joker said, he just wants to create some chaos, and that's what I'm here for, you know. Um, I'm I'm rooting for my brothers Talha and Rohan. I think the Khans have got this. Second place is up for grabs, and they're gonna make it. Is it? Is it oh, though? Wow. They're like 120 points behind. Okay, so that's not that bad. See if let's say one of them has their triple captain, and Ooh, they use true. it. And they use it on like um, Diogo Jota, who scores two goals in one week and then in one game and two goals in another game. And then use captain someone like John Stones, who gets benched for one game and then concedes five in the next. Um, yeah. They're up there, you know, they're up there. That, that, <sighs> that, that is true. That is true. That is a given. I guess uh, it, the very, top very four. Very possible as well. High yes. chances of that happening. Just putting the captain sir, stones for no reason at all. Just you know, he's wait, wait, wait hey. till you, wait till you guys see that I had vice captain Rudiger for this game week before before I changed oh. it to Lingard. Oh my God, Abdurrahman, you you vice captain Antonio Rudiger. I changed it it's to fine. Lingard. They're okay. playing Crystal Palace. You you can't see it. I have to show it to you. Oh okay. Let me just end this. Right no, that's now. okay. Go with your team first. Oh, it's too late, sir. Okay. Sure. Well, I I'll will start. start with my team. Um, given that, you know, Omar has already closed it. Okay. So, I, I made like an instant substitution. Oh, not substitution. A transfer. As soon as I saw Bale didn't start, I sold him. Because the rumors are true, ladies and gentlemen. Something went down. Something went down at Spurs. And Bale is out of favor. And the fact that I had Ollie Watkins with seven points sitting on the bench. Bale played one minute. That was very annoying. So like I made sure he was out of my team for good. And I got Jota instead. And like I said, and I say it again, these two men right here are the future of Fantasy Premier League for the remaining of the season. Oh, that's uh for I still might go for Captain Vice Captain Rudiger. It's between Rudiger, Lingard and Jota for me. I don't know. Uh I would just like to point out here that Rudiger is playing in the Champions League. So Tuchel actually dropped him for the Premier League game last game week. Yeah, so but do you think chance. he's gonna do it again this week? I'm I, I didn't expect him to do it last week, but he did, so I would be unsure. He looks Plus it's Antonio in Rudiger. Champions League. He's or he just looked rusty. like himself. So <laughs> he's looked rusty for the past ten years of his career. I don't think it was Champions League. <laughs> okay, perhaps, perhaps. But then you know the same argument goes for Jota. Like, 
Aston Villa have been a tough team this season. They're they're like top ten right now, and they're also trying to like you know throw a hail mary for the top four spots. So they're gonna go at this game hard. Liverpool have the return fixture of the Champions League next week, right? In a four day uh, difference, five day difference. So you might think that Klopp might rest Jota, especially since that he played uh, seventy minutes against uh, Madrid. And had a poor performance in that too. So maybe he'll throw Firmino and see which striker is faring better before the return fixture. That'll what be interesting. The real possibility of him starting Firmino and Jota in a 4 2 3 1 against Madrid. That is possible too. And he might try that uh, this time around too against Aston Villa. Why not? Two equally, you know. Respected teams worldwide. Aston Villa and uh, <laughs> Real Madrid. Madrid. How many Champions League do Aston Villa have? I, I think they have one or two. So, so b- between them, they have fourteen to fifteen Champions Leagues. How many? <laughs> how many clubs can you say that about? <laughs> well, Aston that, Villa won the Champions League before. Yes, I, I'm certain that they have one. Let me let me just no. Google let's this just, right now. Let's <laughs> live Google it. 1982, they won the Champions League. Uh, about the time uh, Jonas went back in time to create the time traveling machine. Yep, and they beat and Bayern Munich. Back. And they beat Bayern Munich. Would have thought. So not just any minutes. Uh, times have and changed. Back then, Bayern Munich were pretty great too. Um, I subbed Martinez. For the former PSG and Madrid legend, Nipple Ariel. Boy. <laughs> for Nipple Boy, get for sure. You got into my head. I want to get Ariel. Sir, I've had him since a long time. Uh, it's just that there is no other good, cheap option for a keeper now. We, we discussed this thoroughly when Omar was using his wild card. I was on my knees begging for Omar to take yeah. Ariola. Um, Omer has not regretted his decision. Yeah, he so said, the... "Abdurrahman, I will follow you into the darkness, no matter where you take me, where you go. I will yeah. follow you, and it worked. I think I got like he kept. He was. I used my bench bench boost, boost and he kept week. a clean sheet. Yeah, mm-hmm. what a player. So looking at this now, right? Uh, I have to p- pick between Ariola Martinez and one's playing Liverpool, one's playing Wolves. Go with the one with Wolves for sure. Yeah, and because like Wolves have like drawn up blanks consistently, and Fulham with Anguissa and these guys, you know, they can put up a performance. Shaw, Rudiger, Dallas. Uh, my alternative is Ben White and uh, Target. So I don't know about too much about that one. I might use Target instead of Dallas. I think I should actually. Uh, I was just about to say I'd rather have a. Defender playing against Liverpool instead of Man City in the current form. Yeah, you will be you will be surprised when you see my team because I did the exact same thing. So Rafinha, Lingard, Jota, Fernandez, De Bruyne, Bamford, Kane. I I think that that ought, ought to be all of it. Um, I might make a last minute change to Rudiger, captaincy or vice captaincy. Um, but other than that, uh, I think it's pretty much gonna be this for me. Thoughts, boys? Beautiful. Um, I would definitely stay away from the Rudiger captaincy or vice captaincy. I would instead suggest for... Coming I from think, an avid Chelsea or... fan. Yeah, <laughs> the thing is that, like, on the form that he's been and the fact that he's going to play 90 minutes, you know, he's going to get four points at least. Whereas Jota might just, you know, come on for, like, the 89th minute, 87th minute to warm his legs up before the Madrid tie. So that'll be very, very um, crucial. That could really... You know, one one great shout for me for captaincy would be Harry Kane because A, no more European football, so they're only focusing on the league. That's true. And it's Mourinho at United. He's going to pull something, I think. He's going to... That is very, very true. He'll have some great desire to, you know, get a result against them, against his former employers, so... True that. I I, th- I think when we go through my team, I, those are, those would be my two options for captaincy and vice captaincy. But I, I think, think Jota has a good choice. Oh, as look well. at that Spurs run as well. Quite, it's good. 
Beautiful. So Spurs and Liverpool but, are the players to go for. Yeah. But Spurs, it was, there was a blank game week in there. They're going to play that again. Uh, but who are they playing in that blank game week? <laughs> Nobody, which is why <laughs> it was a blank. <laughs> okay. My bad. I thought I thought it was uh, replaced by double game week. Don't, don't forget triple captain Kane in game week 33. That's the way. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Omar. Thanks for your expert advice. But yeah, oh. actually, that's a good shot for Kane. Huh. Well, I guess we could be here all day, but yeah. we won't. So <laughs> we'll move on to one of the Omars. I'll do it. Um, Let's go for Murano FC. Forget about the points. You know, like, it's just Kane. Kane carried the team and Lingard, I guess. Uh, and for the team, guys, it's similar to both of you. I'm just doing the best with what I have. The defenders, I don't really have enough options. It's just these two are okay. Target is questionable, but, you know, my other two choices are even more questionable. That's why. Um, You're benching you um, Bamford? It's City. <laughs> It's, it's city, but it's look my attack. I'm full. I'm kind oh, of Oh, actually, full yeah, here. actually, your midfield is quite uh, stacked. I am very that's, stacked. That's pretty too. Your midfield is worth it. Um, I think it's a good time to have your Egyptian king right now. Salah is a good option. I want I'm to bring him in. Um, sooner than you know, later. I'm captaining him. I feel Why? like club is gonna do one hell of a revenge on Aston Villa. He's going to make them regret ever scoring seven goals against him. I feel it. It's going to be very fun. That, that game has been sandwiched between two Madrid games, which are clearly more important, though. Are you sure no, he's going to no, be that he, focused on this? Why do you think Liverpool did so bad against Madrid? Club is thinking about <laughs> Aston Villa. <laughs> he had Aston Villa plan in, his uh, in mind for a month. The 1982 <laughs> Champions League winners. I mean, rightfully so, you know. <laughs> that revenge has been on his mind for so long. <laughs> Oh man. Uh, Gundogan mostly I don't know man the city players I want to transfer out Gundogan maybe for Yota I might do that I'm not sure it's you know just... I th did Gundogan play 90 minutes against uh, no. Dortmund no let oh Dortmund I don't know let me Man City Dortmund uh, Gundogan started yes he played full 90 minutes <clears throat> The, uh, see now, <laughs> if he plays full ninety minutes, that that might mean that he might sit out a bit, because he that would mean he's gonna play quite a bit in the second leg as well. You know, you can't tell. Like, you you might be better off with having Raheem Sterling or someone who didn't play at all, or just nobody from City. Yeah, true that too. Sterling and Aguero didn't even feature at all. But then, but then Dortmund. again, Bernard, Bernardo Silva played, so like, he got subbed off. I think he'll he'll play against uh, Leeds, right? I mean, that guy. I don't think it matters if you play. He plays once a week or four times a week. That guy has, has legs of a young gazelle or something. He'll just continue running. It's funny. Last season, he was so good. What happened to him this year? Uh, he, he's this not been playing. That's it. He's just not been playing as well. He's not been starting a lot of games. Phil Foden's overtaken him in everything. Foden's is also a good buy if City weren't such a, you know, a pack of cards Heavy that he has shuffled ever so often. <laughs> what a good way to describe that team. Do you think? Do you think that's what Guard Guardiola does sometimes? You know, like midweek game against leads three points he just confirmed goes. he just takes all of his midfielders in a pack he's like okay i'm gonna just go take the first four out or he goes you know with holding straws goes to the changing room is like pick pick straws guys <laughs> <laughs> the one with the shortest one gets to play but then guardiola is like cc no no that means you get to play <laughs> it's tactical genius you see Oh, uh, anything to say about the team? You know, like this is the best I can do with it. I think. I think. Yes. Uh, can you click on uh, Calvert Lewin's uh, fixtures, please? 
Oh, Arsenal There's West Ham City. There's a double game week on the way as well. And a double game There's week. <clears throat> so Leicester, Spurs, and <laughs> uh, Liverpool. These are your teams to go for. Uh, th that's a quite quite a good one. But they give, they play Tottenham as well, so I'm not too sure how great it is. Wait, Leicester or Everton? Why Leicester? What did you say? Sorry, I meant Everton. Hey, Everton They're both yeah. blue. <laughs> all all blue <laughs> teams look crazy. like blue. I we was so two confused. Teams in the Premier League who wear blue. <laughs> Brighton, same theme, right? Um. Okay, so... This week he's playing Brighton, and then who wait? Who was the one after Brighton? Tottenham, uh, Arsenal. Yeah. Okay. Aston Villa. Aston Villa shouldn't be green, right? I guess. I mean, if Liverpool can be, I wait. guess grey now. No, no. Why Liverpool. Not? Liverpool are still red in all of them, but how's Tottenham three and Arsenal four, and Aston Villa two? Aren't like Villa above Arsenal? Arsenal. And like Tottenham are above Arsenal and Villa. That's weird. The coding is not uh, that good. Well, I think. I, I mean, think home and away makes a huge difference as well. But... Yeah, perhaps or like recent form only, maybe. Like you know, they just take out in like last five games. Mm. Oh. Okay, so what is their recent form like? Villa. I mean, I know that they've been. They, they haven't English. been good. They haven't, they haven't been, been good. good. They've been like uh, losing and drawing a lot of games. Hence the two, I guess. Arsenal, on the other hand, maybe. I mean, they had that resurgence like in January, but haven't they dropped off a bit either? I don't know why it's they're It's April fourth. right now, so it doesn't really matter what happened in January. That's true. That is very did, true. Did Grealish come back yet? I think the reason Aston Villa is not doing well is because uh, Grealish is missing. Let me see. Uh, okay, so Arsenal's results were 3-3 against West Ham. They beat Tottenham 2-1. A draw against Burnley. They beat Leicester. They lost to City. And they beat Leeds. Dude is still missing. That's why. Right. Has anyone on your Reddit form said to get Grealish? The Villa <laughs> players are now getting Grealish in or something? No, yeah, no. or maybe I like, think. you know, some guys like hacked someone's phone or something. Those guys are weird and crazy. They might do anything. Uh, Aston Villa are taking extreme measures to avoid any leaks going to the FPL community uh, since they caused them to <laughs> lose against Leicester or something. Yeah, that that's that true. was a weird week. I want to talk about your two defenders, Lascelles and Lotin. Do you expect Brighton, uh, Burnley versus Newcastle to be nil nil or what? <laughs> What's going well, on? Well, to be fair, to be fair, it's it is Burnley and it is Newcastle. <laughs> And to be oh, <laughs> I just got it. I just <laughs> I just realized what's happening here. <laughs> well, you know, it, it might be a zero zero. Who knows? Like, but to be honest, like I said, I'm just doing the best I can with what I have. Uh, you're playing Sanchez against Everton and not that dude against West Brom. Uh, he doesn't start. <laughs> Why do you have um, him? <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's what I was saying. I wanted to get Ariola. Can never go wrong with the nipple no, boy. A wise what choice. A uh, okay. Do I want now? All right. <clears throat> so, this is my team for match week 30, is this? Or 31? 31. This is... Um... Wow, keepers, time flies. Again, keeper, I think. I fully support Abdurrahman's choice. We are going to bring on Ariola for Martinez. Ooh, We're Bale's not trusting bench. the keeper. Bale will be sold. Bale will be sold. But do you have three transfers? I have no idea how many transfers I have, actually. You should. I have one. Oh, and 2.2 .2 remaining. I would strongly suggest get Salah or... I don't know if you can afford Salah. I don't think you'll be able to afford Salah. I cannot afford Salah. 11.5. You'll be able to... Not something that you want to be saying going into Ramadan, but okay. That, that Salah is free. <laughs> that Salah is free. Apparently... Oh, so Spurs, you're going to get Son back. 
I am not getting any Tottenham players other than Harry Kane. Thank you very much. We have learned our lesson the hard way. We well, Richarlison, Richarlison, maybe then. Richard, the thing is, I I don't want to put too much faith in Everton players. I've already got one, Calvert. So you don't want to put faith in like Everton players. You don't want to put faith in Spurs players. The two teams that actually have a t good run, and so like Liverpool players, you can't afford. Are too expensive. Wait, how much is money? <laughs> money is affordable, but money. Oh, he's still not. He's point eight. Yeah, but it's five. money. That's true. That is very true. You know what? How about Raheem Sterling? We just talked about him. He didn't play in the Champions League. He's probably going to start this game, right? Leeds. The thing is, I don't trust him. Not not only that, but like... I, I don't trust him or his manager. But if you look no, at... No, I don't trust him. <laughs> with also, the rest, those, it's the manager. <laughs> like, with this City's guy, fixtures so. are pretty difficult, actually. It's just that, like, you know, since they have an like FDR of five, right? All the others are gray or, like, red, uh, gray or green. There aren't going to be many reds. Yeah. Which is misleading because those are actually tough fixtures and they might actually drop points. I'm looking at the fixtures right now and who do you guys think have the best fixtures? Um, I'm looking at teams like West Brom, Sheffield, whoever's playing against them. But I don't know. I don't want to put my faith in Arsenal. There's not a lot of people I want to put my faith in, you know. And Arsenal's certainly not up there. But I'm thinking, why not maybe Aubameyang? No, no, no. I don't think he's going to play. I don't think they're he's going to play. No, I don't think he's going to play a lot of games. If you Did look at all the... Game? If you look at all the... Yeah, he started and uh, and they didn't do well. They lost 3-0. Wait, they no, no, they drew three three, right? No, no, West Ham? Li no, Liverpool. They oh, lost three Liverpool. nil. All right, yeah. If you if you look if you look at no, go to his history. And scroll down. If you look at all the uh, big matches they won. Right, he didn't play. <laughs> I don't think anyone played in the big matches they won because they haven't won a lot of big matches. Have they? No, okay. You look at uh, you look at the Tottenham, oh, Tottenham. result. Mm. He did zero 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 and he won. All right, yeah, Leicester yeah, Leicester know, Leicester no. away. Okay, they won three one. That's true. He didn't play. He that. didn't play. So he is not your player. Uh, I would Chelsea three one. He didn't Ch play. Chelsea three one. He didn't three, one. play. You're on to something. You're Ever, on to something. Uh, like so. He is not the player to go to. I would strongly suggest perhaps Lacazette or Saka, because look at Saka. You know, not long ago, we said, like, he didn't have a lot of points. Now he's slowly, like, you know, got to 76 points. 96 points. But look at those. 0, 2, 1, 1, 0, 2, 5. Ooh, that's two, actually two, true. That's, that's actually just really... Arsenal form, right? No, that's, that's his form. No, that's also his form. Um, that's his form. <laughs> what about Odegaard? How's Odegaard doing? Oh, you know what? He's so low on that list i didn't even realize but he was amazing i don't know if you guys saw that four minute comp against uh, west ham he had My he's a word. great player but Not like you know he doesn't he gets like the ball before the assist yeah so when the fullback just crosses it in and and it's a tap in lacazette might be one to go if you're in for strikers Alhamdulillah, we are very happy with, with this his captain Harry Kane <laughs> and Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Bamford's probably going to be benched. I'm not selling him, but it's City, so I don't want to play him either. I think I think I think I'm going to go with. Uh... What's his name? Wait, unless Leicester, who do you, who are Leicester playing? Do you guys know? There is that uh, here here in a Shangu guy. Uh, Leicester okay, have I, a I bad bad races. run. Leicester have a bad run. No 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 wait wait sorry Abdurrahman just give it a pause. Omar can you repeat that name? Okay scroll down a bit you'll find him. <laughs> <laughs> you should find him. Wait keep going. Which guy? Which? He should be here man keep going. Oh yeah that guy's <laughs> forward. One? He's a forward. He's a forward. Ihiana Ihiana Shanu. Ihiana Chu. Ihiana Chu. Kalechi Ihiana yeah, not true. Wait, is that? Is that how yeah. you? Yeah, he he was player of the Kalechi. Yeah, but yeah, I don't think he's... Kalechi. Seventeen points. 
nine, oh, nine, yeah, seventeen. Yeah. I feel like that golden patch is over now. I feel like yeah. if you had him, well done. I don't think he's gonna turn up with the goods anymore. Was Vardy not playing those matches, or were he was? Both the thing is, um, Madison and uh, Barnes. Barnes have been the guys who've been missing. So he he's been playing Ayozi Perez. Yeah, but Nacho if you look at fixtures, Bardo, just look at Leicester's fixtures. They're actually pretty tough. Mm. Interesting fixtures that you could get him for like one, two, three, four game weeks. Okay, these are good fixtures. Only the last three are tough. Just Even him West, West Ham's going to be tough. Here. Okay, West Ham. That West Ham match might be full of goals. I think it's good for Vardy. That's true. Yeah, you know what I'm thinking. Wait, uh, why not? Why not? Wait, did he start last game? He came off the bench. Okay, he's still coming back from injury. I don't think he's gonna. Who? Who's that? Madison. That's but Madison. looking forward, Umar. Looking forward, right? Looking at the four greens, you might yeah. get him now instead of Bale, right? The thing is, I need someone for this game week. I mean, in the future, I think after this game week, Madison. If he came, if he came back from, him. if he came back from, if Madison came back from injury last, like game week right and he's already yeah. playing you can expect him to start now you know what that's a fair shout uh why don't you get Mason listen Mount? bale isn't gonna start you're gonna get like two points from one point from bale anyway so might as well get that from madison and secure your future thing is bale is not the only midfielder i want to get rid of i want to get rid of this guy too i've had enough <laughs> for, for another week leave, that's leave for, another for another week, week. i think <laughs> So Bale and Gundogan leaving. I'm thinking, you know what? I want to get rid of both of them anyways. There's a high chance Gundogan doesn't play this match week. So why not keep Bale? There's a chance he might play. And Gundogan, who I'm playing. I would, I would count more on Gundogan to play than Bale. Yeah, same. Because really? he didn't play the last week. In the... He just mm. didn't play last week. All right, Gundogan, you live to fight another day. Gareth. <laughs> another week. Welcome. Yeah, that's Gareth James just Madison. doesn't like fight. You know that. Yeah. Now, it, now, if he scores a hat trick this game week, Abdurrahman and Omar, I am coming for both of you. Who? Once this lockdown is over. Bale? I listen. I sold him myself. <laughs> Wait, Bale against United scoring a hat trick? Yeah, I doubt it. All right. Congratulations, James Madison. You are in Flicky Flaka FC. You now take me to the top four. We need Not to bring him happen. straight into the start. Also, 11. like, take your team to the top four as well. <laughs> Who do I get rid of? Why do you need to get rid of, like, one more person? I know, as in, in the uh, starting 11. Because Madison target for sure. Mm. Show? No, I'm target. 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 Target or show? Target. <laughs> Shaw is one of the greatest left backs this season. Saying that every week, Mourinho's Tottenham, and, and I'm, I'm still sure right. Listen, goal. it's gonna be Shaw versus Orier or Shaw versus Tanganga. Come on, like those, it just doesn't add up. Have did you see the goal that Willock scored? Wait, why not Rudiger? Why not Rudiger? Keep both. Come on, it's Crystal Palace. That's very rude. There's a high chance he's not gonna play, right? He didn't start last game week. If he doesn't okay, play, he just... substitutes himself. Yeah, but make him the first defender if you want to do that. But then again, if he plays, you don't get the points from Madi uh from Madison. No, I I would take off target. I would say no. target for uh Madison. And if Rudiger target doesn't play, Madison. then like target comes. And then Rudiger, then target comes in for Rudiger. That is a good shout. Also, another thing. Gun to gun before Gundogan target. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That was the next point. Gundogan, do I just leave him on the bench or should he even be starting or the first substitute? What should I do? I think Gundogan on the bench is a pretty good idea, uh, given the fact that Champions League fixtures and everything. Mm -hmm. Pep's probably going to rest him. Uh, I would expect KDB to play 90 minutes or something, but not, um, not Gundogan. You're mm -hmm. just going to leave DCL without a captaincy or a vice-captaincy? 
Uh, last week, we sat here and talked about the match week, and I gave my captaincy to DCL, and I got rewarded with four <laughs> points. So he's lost his chance. I think Kane is actually a very good shout. Captain Harry Kane. It's up to you guys. I don't want to influence too much. So don't come hunt me with pitchforks, you know, after the week. Oh, well, that was a close one. That was a very close one. I was about to close this without... It's fine. We will remind you when you are watching, re-watching the video. You, you also notice. have triple captain left. Oh. Look at him shocked. It is on. <laughs> <laughs> there might I be a chance after captain. all. I'm that, that, sure. Dude, this is the equivalent of fending ten reals in your old uh, pants. <laughs> Bro, I have triple captain. <laughs> ten? Come on, Omar. Omar, Omar that was like twenty reals. Fifty, bro. <laughs> Actually, thirty because it's triple captain. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh Omar, why don't, why don't you use this game week? Kane, you mad at player Gundogan? No, no, Rudiger. Rudiger. All right, you know what? Abdurrahman, just because you said it. Captain wow. Rudiger. Are what? you actually gonna... Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I, I fell for it. I fell for it. Yeah, I, 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 was I thought it was happening. <laughs> I don't want to. I, I don't want my lead to get even further. You guys will just quit. <laughs> I, I was. Uh, this is going to be the title of the video: Rudiger Triple Captain. Rudiger, no clickbait at all. <laughs> all right, so I, I think I'm happy with this team. We're going to stick with this target, Abdurrahman. You've convinced me. If my mind changes within the next 24 hours, it changes. But until then, target's going to be on the. Well, I think you have a little bit more than 24 hours, but sure thing. I think about putting Gundogan instead of Bamford. No, now. I do have 24 hours. Guys, is there Euro Europa League games tonight? Oh, uh, yeah, United and Arsenal are playing. <laughs> uh, United. Granada is still in Europa League? Anyway, man. United oh, man. is still in Europa League. They should have been knocked out. <laughs> Doesn't my boy, uh, what's his name? Jeremy Boga play in Granada? I watch La Liga and have no idea. Boga. That's because he plays in Syria, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know there was a Granata in uh, oh, Syria. I love it. You know, <laughs> people can get confused between two teams in a league, which is perfectly fine. Am I right, wait, Leicester, wait, which Everton? Which club does he play in? No, uh, he used to play in Granada, but he left, uh, I think, in 2018. I'm only been three years, Omar. Only He's been three playing years. in Sasulo right now. Sasulo? Oh, that's why Sasulo are doing so well in the league now. Mm. <laughs> because of this <laughs> one. Probably player. not. No, no, probably not. I'm just... <laughs> okay. Well... You're rising. Omar, Ramiro FC, you want to wrap it up for us? Uh, yeah, I hope you guys do well. Uh, because, you know, I want some competition. This league is becoming very boring, to be honest. Um, maybe next season we'll have, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I am city without the oil money. But anyway, <laughs> uh, with the Reddit money, the Reddit money. Yeah. I hope you guys do well. See you guys next week with good points. Goodbye. We're not catching anyone in the next half or we're not, uh, Omar is the next half and we're never catching up. Oh, that's true. That is very true. <laughs> Catch you in the next season. Oh, so that's the ending phrase? Okay, cool. I'm still yeah. learning, guys. I'm still learning. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you guys until next time. Yeah, right.